Hey Sherry, what's up? So, I just wanted to make a response. I, I was catching up on some videos. I just got back from a business trip and, you know, I was driving across Missouri and uh, <clears throat> I, um, I was thinking some of the same things and um, maybe not quite along the lines that you were thinking, but so many things were swimming through my head about what's going on in the world. And, um, you know, trying to think about how I, was, how I was going to prioritize the things that I felt I needed to put my time and effort into and what, those, what the implications of some of those things coming down the line how it would affect me, my, my wife, my, my son, and um, our future. And it's just, there's so much. It's so hard to, to put it down. It's so hard to pull yourself away from it. And, um, but, you know, we have to be able to find our center in real time. If that makes any sense, it, I don't think there's ever going to be a point where we're um, zen with the whole shebang of bang. I think I think that we have to be able to uh, adapt as the situation changes, and the situation is always changing. <laughs> Seems like it's always getting worse. But we have to be able to adapt to that. And we have to recognize the fact that even if we fight against something, even if we're combating or challenging uh, the the swill, the shite, the garbage that's being put out there, or we're bucking the system, we're still in the system. We don't have to agree with it. We don't have to accept it. But we are here. And we have to be able to find our center with that as well. And it's difficult, man. Nobody can do that for you, I don't think. And these are all my thoughts and opinions. So feel free to agree, disagree, elaborate, challenge me, whatever. Um, I don't think anybody can do that for you. I think you have to make the decision. You are the only one that can make the decision for you. And you have to decide... You gotta just have to make the decision. You know, you say you, you want to unplug, you want to disconnect, but you're afraid you're gonna miss something. You're gonna miss something that they're putting out there um, that is leading people in the wrong direction. So that way, if you can take you can uh, you can take that and you know disseminate the bullshit and put the the good reliable information out there. And that's great, but you're always going to. We're always going to subject ourselves. You know, our our mental and emotional well-being is is always going to be under attack because we choose to subject ourselves to that shit, and we we take on the role. You've taken on the role of, you know, educator, if you will, and. Uh, you know, unfortunately, you got to stay plugged in to do it. You know, you said, when, when are we going to, when are we going to get to that place? Well, I don't think you're ever going to know you're there until you're there. And, um, I think if you want to if you want to disconnect, if you want to unplug, then that's what you have to do. I think you're taking on you know, you take you're taking on this burden it seems for everyone. You know, and I know you want to you want to help people and you want to get that information out there and many of us do, but you don't necessarily have to take that burden on. You don't have to 
You don't have to shoulder such a huge weight. You don't have to do it. Nobody's going to judge you or, or um, think less of you because you you don't. <laughs> if you feel like the only way you can be happy and you can be at peace is to disconnect, then disconnect. But you have to be you have to find a way to come to terms with that decision. And then if you're willing to make that, that's you know, the finality of that decision. You don't have to stay disconnected necessarily, but if you want to improve your emotional and, and mental well being, that's about the only way. So I don't know. That's just kind of my thoughts on some things, so Feel free to uh, reply, comment, respond. So, stay strong, sister. We know what you're going through. <laughs>